Good morning, everyone. It's cold out there today, so I'm, I'm in here. I brought all summer clothes. I have nothing wintry or fall or spring, <laughs> except for this one long sleeve shirt and one really light jacket. Otherwise, everything's packed in my bag for hot, hot, hot. Yes. Anyway, and it was, it was, it's interesting. I mean, I packed my bag. I have one of those big duffel bags. Put all the clothes in. Oh, yeah, I have one robe that's a little warmer. Oh, yeah, I have that warmer robe when I'm putting that out. <laughs> I thought, man, it's a lot of clothes. Do I need all them clothes? I need all them clothes. What aren't the children, all the stuff that we're doing? Yeah, it's, you got to just about change your clothes every day. Oh, you don't do that otherwise? What for? <laughs> I'm not dirty. How would I put my clothes in the wash? <coughs> what a waste. So we had, uh, my daughter came by with the baby yesterday. Whoop, 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 so cute. And, uh, oh, uh, this is one of those babies that uh, nurses and then uh, within a short amount of time just kind of... Right, then nurse, it, yeah, and then yeah, my daughter thinks she's done, and okay. And uh, it was really neat to see. I was bu busy with the children, and uh, we went for a walk to all together, and that was really nice. The only thing that really irked me was that my daughter couldn't get her yeah, any time with the phone again. So, next time we go for a walk, I'm gonna she's better leave that somewhere else because otherwise, it's gonna end up in the bushes somewhere. <laughs> I don't like that. I think that's it, right? Again, yeah. Ah, oh. so do my adult children not still need me to kind of remind them a little bit of, oh, yeah, they do. Yes, they do. And I do say something. <coughs> 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 I told her yesterday, I said, put that dog on phone down. I'm talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> I said, what is this? You know, oh, I just have to say, no, you don't. Yeah. Put that down. Anyway. And I, it's okay for, I, just no, because otherwise, I mean, here I'm taking the time yeah, to uh, be with my daughter and the older grandchildren, and, and uh, you know, if, uh, if uh, my communication is not valued, then, or my, you know, give and take with them, yeah, I can just, okay, let's not talk at all, it's just fine with me too, but I don't want that. Right? Yes, I want that. Anyway, so uh, that was the one thing. The dog gone cell phones. Uh, also, I really I've mentioned this before. When people talk on their cell phones in the car, I said if it's an emergency, otherwise everything else can wait. Right? In my opinion, and uh, I don't like that. I want their eyes to be on the road. I'm the passenger. Yeah. Yes, I'm a valued human being on this earth. I want people to show me that they consider people value, valued, of value around them. You don't do that by driving a car and having a cell phone on your ear. No, or even, yeah, still, there's a button you got to push or something, and... And then, yeah, look who it is. Oh, look who it is. Oh, yeah, what, what? Oh, it was a message. Oh, well, now, now they need to read. Are you kidding me here? It's so rude, rude and disrespectful to, uh, in my opinion, to risk someone else's life because you need to answer that phone right now. You get me? Yeah. Pull over. Pull over. So I've got to pull over real quick. I need to see if this was something important. I'm perfectly fine with that. But to do it while they're driving, while I'm sitting in the passenger seat, yeah. wow, okay. I guess you don't care if I make it or not. Oh, do I care if they make it or not? Well, they already don't care about themselves. Now they're showing me they don't care about anyone else. And they got the kids in the car too. Wow, okay then. I'm just saying. You see, it's a bad habit. And people don't realize what they're doing. And there are enough accidents on the road exactly for that reason. Yes, cell phone activity. Yes, no, well, you go read up on it. 
Oh, so, uh, but the great thing, eh? so there you go. There's my little le lesson, lecture. <laughs> if anybody, okay. I already know most likely the ones of you that are listening to my videos probably gonna say, well, we're too old for that stuff anyway, too. <laughs> right? <laughs> Gotta reach younger people. <laughs> someday, someday. <laughs> and uh, and again, if I were to make some effort, but these videos are for, I guess, at the moment, the select few. Um, and I'm really appreciative of that because there are were two or more gathered in the name right yes that's really powerful and it seems like i got at least two and yes always kind of right there with me and i really really appreciate that thank you so much yes uh yeah and then anywho so uh <clears throat> and of course everyone else that's what's important Yes, not fame and fortune, not. And eventually, if this isn't just needed as a spiritual foundation, good, again, hey, the truth isn't always pretty. The truth isn't always stroking your back, right? Or someone else's. But it will set us free <laughs> of confusion, uh, misunderstandings. Yes, yes. Uh, then they will maybe go someday somewhere. Right? Often people get famous after they pass the spirit world. Could happen to me. You know? <laughs> anyway, the one really wonderful thing that I did see though, uh, again, uh, uh, between my daughters is the give and take that they have. They both work. Uh, do they have to work? Well, they, gosh, it seems like almost inevitable that you have to work now as parents. You live in a nice place, nice neighborhood. Um, have the things that you want, not necessarily need. Right? And then it's necessary. This daughter here of mine works at home, from home. Right? Yes, still she needs her time <laughs> where she's at, working. Right? So I take care of the children. And uh, she has a lot more experience with Okay, here comes another baby. How are we going to do this? Not the scheduling thing and making sure that then when the time comes where the baby is being taken care of by someone else, that uh, everything kind of works out really nice and well. And these guys here have done a great job of that. I have to say the children are wonderful. Yes, found good places as well. And of course, I was there part of the time too to take care of them. And uh, now with my other daughter, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. So they have been sharing information and my older daughter really encouraging my younger daughter to, you know, this and that. As I said, about the schedule of the baby said, look, you're going to have to work and take care of a baby. Right? You're going to get to be tuckered and nursing. You'll be tuckered out. This is what you do. Right? So they had a really nice conversation and you know, kind of have to stay out of it. I don't know. I didn't have to work. Well, I mean, I had always a job, but I was at home or, 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 or uh, <clears throat> as I said, I was a babysitter for a long time, right? The people at little daycare where you didn't have to have license or whatever, you could have uh, up to five children, right? Yes, from outside, not including yours at that time, or at least that's what I understood. And uh, so I had, I only had like always three extra, three extra with mine, right? Yes. And that did it. That little bit of income really helped us out. Eh? But I always had jobs right, that I could either take my children with me or it was at home. Yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway. So there it is. So I didn't, don't know, but my older daughter here, great help to my younger daughter. It's great. It's wonderful right? to see how they were sharing yeah? um, information. And yeah, they're, that's what siblings are for. Not to fight. And, yeah, okay, now I'm getting into that again. Well, what's more known? Go talk to people. Out of ten, ten people you talk to, guarantee you seven or eight of them. Maybe all, all ten of them. Seven or eight. They're, yeah, I get along with so-and-so, all right. But, you know, the siblings should be as tight as they should really care for each other. They should be there for each other, even through. And the thing is, 
you can have a real good blow up of set of siblings because they've known you since what? Growing up. Just snap. Yeah. And uh and so they kind of understand you. And and the, even if there are some um fights going on or fights and uh, things that you disagree or this or that, you get over it pretty quickly. Unless of course, you know, you do something nasty enough to one of your siblings that Okay, or it's done to you, then it's like, well, I guess I'm gonna have to just say that that can't happen. Yeah, yes, and I guess I get it, but there you go. Siblings should be really tight, they should support each other. Yeah? Yes, it's the greatest support system I've seen that with my children every time. Oh, they are very critical of each other when it comes to certain things, and they won't let go either. No, you can't. No, uh -uh, I heard this. No, 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 no. And it gets discussed first amongst the ones that aren't involved, right? And then they all go to the one that needs the talking to or whatever. That's pretty amazing. And then they help each other out. They constantly help each other out. Just saying. Yeah. So, there. Oh, my only complaint right now is the cell phone. So I gotta fix that. I don't like that. Yeah. These are my children. I can still tell them. You see, with the adults that I live with, you know, okay, well, whatever. I'll just walk away. But these are my children. <laughs> I'm still responsible for their well-being when it comes to all that. <coughs> <coughs> More so than, okay. Also, uh, everyone at the farm is my elder. I'm <laughs> the youngest one there. I should know better. Okay, we are in the book of Nehemiah. Uh, 11. Nehemiah's method of repopulating Jerusalem. Gosh, just take your time. What's so important now to repopulate? Just teach the people first. All right, all right, let's just read first what that actually even means. Now the leaders of the people took up residence in Jerusalem, so the rest of the people drew lots. One man in ten was to come and live in Jerusalem. The holy city, while the other nine were to stay in the towns outside. The people praised all those who volunteered to live in Jerusalem. <laughs> Nobody wanted to live there? Is that what it's <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> It had to draw lots. I, you would say, I just thought, oh, I guess. Everybody, everybody wanted to move to Jerusalem, right? So they had to draw lots and see who could go. No, it's the other way around here. And then there were some that volunteered. Whew, thank God. <laughs> All right, just saying. In the towns of Judah, each man lived on his own property. But these are the provincial leaders, the Israelites, the priests, the Levites, the temple slaves, and the descendants of Solomon's slaves who made their homes in Jerusalem. Ticks me off every time I read that. Yeah, see, I've read this so many times now. The Levites, okay, so the leaders, the provincial leaders, the Israelites, the priests, the Levites, the temple slaves, and the descendants of Solomon's slaves who made their homes in Jerusalem. Ticks me off every time I read that. Yeah, yeah it's often enough in here that the eventually says, oh, okay. Yeah, it's almost as if it's being drilled into my mind, not my heart. Uh -uh into my mind, right, that that's okay. Yeah. Don't you think that's interesting? Why don't they leave that out? That'd be a shame to uh, write that down. The Jewish population of Jerusalem. Of the sons of Judah and the sons of Benjamin, who made their homes in Jerusalem, there were, of the sons of Judah, At Atiah, son of Uzziah, son of Zechariah, son of Amariah, son of Shepatiah, son of Mehalalel, of the descendants of Perez. And Masaiah, son of Baruch, son of Kol Jose, son of Haziah, son of Adiah, son of Yoyorib, son of Zechariah, descendant of Shalah. Oh. I guess this would be a way to go back and make sure that they're from the initial stock. Then it goes back. Oh, yeah. Son of blah, son of blah, son of blah. Okay. 
The total number of the descendants of Perez living in Jerusalem was 468 outstanding people. Oh yeah, I was told about outstanding people before and I'd say, I happen to know these outstanding people and I don't think they're all that outstanding. Don't you guys get that? Just because they got money in the bank? Or a position that, that's not, doesn't, that doesn't make you outstanding. But that seems to be the understanding. Yeah, yes, okay. So outstanding here, I don't know. Let's remember Ataya, son of Itzia, and his people, 400 of them. Wow, these were big families. Oh, there's more than one, two, two and three. Oh, Perez, okay, Perez. Oh, this is really interesting. I see I'm getting all lost in the, mm, I'm not getting lost. I'm actually, it's be interesting to go and see who survived. I mean, whose families managed to, oh, here I go. I talked about siblings, talked about families and how you treat each other, this and that. I wonder the ones that made it back, right? And now are also going to live in Jerusalem, this and that, are the ones that were tried to really stay focused, right? Yes, yeah, on being God people. I just couldn't do it necessarily, so they would be outstanding people. So for Perez, descendants of Perez, there were 468 outstanding people. Huh, I like that. Well, that is something, right? Yes, that's a very outstanding family. There are five outstanding people. Okay, then your grandparents, this and well, yeah, if you come across someone that's a really neat person, this and that, oftentimes there are some good people behind them. Yes? Yeah? Okay. Yeah? That kind of help them become what they are. It doesn't always work that way. But, but, just saying. So, that's kind of neat. I like how they look at that. But I have to think about that. Outstanding people. I would say, again, yes, look, I'm not going to downplay my family, okay? My family, as many as we are, and I'd have to count how many there are all together in a way, and with all the, the good and the bad and the ugly and the more outstanding things. It's an outstanding family. I think that we are a very outstanding family under the umbrella and guidance of our heavenly parent. I think, I think I can honestly With a truthful heart to mind, say that. Ooh. I like that. I have to think about that. Outstanding people. That's what we should be. These are the sons of Benjamin. Salu, son of Meshulam, son of Joed, son of Pediah, sons of Kolai. I know, I know you guys would agree with that. Son of, I know, I wish you guys could, could, I wish you guys could hear and feel what I feel when certain things that I'm talking about, right? And of course, I'm talking to you, I'm not paying attention necessarily now what's going on around me, right? Or uh, or what uh, what I'm being given right? when it comes to working together or working, being in tune with the spirit world. But then I started reading and suddenly, right, because I'm not engaged with you here, of course, now I know. that went, Okay. <laughs> uh, I could feel, I could feel that just like, yeah, that's exactly right. You got this one really right. Yeah, that's good. That was good give and take with the people. That's what they need to hear. And they're really happy. There is one thing again. Okay, so here I'm going into something else. But it's necessary. It's, we just do it as it comes. When, <clears throat> when, um, say, how often I said, well, I'm going to ask Jesus and Socrates and Pluto, and then there's a few other people, you know, True Father, you know, oh, Hyung Jin Im and Young Son, and okay, wait, I'm still calling him Young Son, Hyo Jin Im, oh, I want to have him, uh, some other people, oh, my dad, oh, yeah, I'm going to have a good talk with my dad, <laughs> okay. <coughs> uh, 
you want to know? I said, well, I'm going to know. Once I go past, past the spirit world, okay, it's a little bit different than people think there too, but I'm going to know. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to know, right? And I'm going to, it's going to be figured out. And how I'm going to know then on how it is supposed to be here on earth as it is in heaven, right? Yes, as it is in heaven, it's supposed to be here on earth. And I'm going to find out how well did I do. And the thing is, the certain things that I talked to you all about, I can really tell that yes, you, you, this is exactly this is that's that's what we're experiencing right? in good spirit world, and that is on how it is supposed to be in society among the people as well in families right? as an individual, then in the family, right? Yes, um, uh, and everybody really when okay, all right, all right we're going to go there for now because I can't help that the, the faulty system in some things now and what happens with the consequences of that when there is no family for someone right even growing up right yes that's not that's what do we blame that on we have to blame that all on ourselves right? sadly the consequences only hit certain ones we don't even know right? yes okay we'll get into that another time again but uh, when one is in tune with spirit world, even just a little, you know when you hit, oh, nailed it, right? Nailed that one. <laughs> it's a good one. I can use this one now, see? <laughs> right? And spirit world's really happy about that. This is good. It's very good for people to know this, to think about this. To grow towards that ideal that our heavenly parent had right, at the beginning of creation. Yes, of earth. Everything. Anyway. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's difficult to get things out and explain that properly. Do you get, come on now. You have, to have a little uh, understanding for that. Good enough. Yes, I know. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a wonderful day. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. Focus. I know, I know. These are the sons of Benjamin. Salu, son of Meshulam, son of Joed, son of Pedaya. I already read that, didn't I? Did I? Son of Koliah, son of Maasiah, son of Ethiel, no, son of Yeshaiah, and his brothers Gabai and Salai, 928. Oh. Mm -hmm. The tribe, do, are they doing this by tribe? There's no. Perez? Is that a tribe? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. I gotta go back and look that up. I need to know that. Just getting, otherwise I'm going to be completely lost eventually. Mm -hmm. Joel, son of Sikri, was their chief, and Judah, son of Hasenua, was second in command of the city. Of the priests, there were Jediah, son of Joachim, son of Seraiah, son of Hilkiah, son of Meshulam, son of Sadok, son of Merayot son of Ahitub, the chief of the temple of God, and their kinsmen who performed the temple liturgy, 822. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, there must be the Levites then, right? Supposed to be. Their chief was Sabdiel, son of Haggadol, of the Levites, there were Shemaiah, son of Hasub, son of Arzurikam, son of Hashabiah, son of Buni, Shabetai, and Yotzabad, the Levitical leaders responsible for work outside the Temple of God. Mataniah, son of Micah, son of Sabdi, son of Asaph, who led the praises and intoned the thanksgiving associated with the prayer. Buck, book, Buck, back, back, book, <laughs> uh, buck, buck, being his junior colleague, and Obadiah, son of 
Shemua, son of Galal, son of Jeduthun, the total number of Levites in the holy city was 284. Hmm. Okay, sounds about right. Supplementary notes. Oh, hey. No, we're not done yet. But we have supplementary notes. The gatekeepers, Akub, Talmon, and their kinsmen who kept watch at the gates, 172. The temple slaves lived on Ophel, Siha, and Gishba, who were in charge of the temple slaves. Sorry, I had to growl at that. The official in charge of the Levites in Jerusalem was Utsi, son of Bani, son of Hashabiah, son of Mataniah, son of Micah, of the sons of Asaph, who led the singing in the liturgy of the Temple of God. For the singers were under royal orders with regulations laying down what was required of them day by day. Petahiah, son of Meshezabel, of the sons of Serah, sons of, son of Judah, was the king's minister for all matters connected with the people. I'll say that if I remember it, guys. I know it's a really, it's a really uh, sensitive issue at the moment. The Jewish population outside Jerusalem. The rest of Israel, including the priests and Levites, made their homes throughout the towns of Judah, each man on his own inheritance. guys just hear that? I thought they were starting to fall in my God's love. But here it says, the rest of Israel, including the priests and Levites, including the priests and Levites, made their homes throughout the towns of Judah, each man on his own inheritance. And in the villages near their lands, some of the sons of Judah made their homes in Kiriat Arba and its dependencies. Ibon and its dependencies, check, oh, now we're going back into this one. Check up Zeal, how do you say that? J E K A B Z E E L. Jacob Zell. Jacob Zell. Zell. Jacob Zell. I can't, I don't even know how to, sometimes if I switch to German or something, I, you, but Jacob Zeal. Jacob Zeal. Jacob. Jacob. It's like Jacob Zeal. Jacob. Jacob. And it's dependencies. Well, it's interesting. I, how do blah, blah, blah. I can tell sometimes when I teach my, uh, I wasn't my, anyone asks, oh, teach me something in Swiss. And there are just certain sounds that people aren't used to in the American language, you know, in English, right? And it's difficult for them to make that sound, right? With, with certain letters put together because they're not used to saying that, right? Yes, it's like, it's like you have to teach your tongue. Right? That's why children have to learn to, to talk. You have to teach your tongue, yes, to, to uh, your teeth, your tongue, whatever else goes with, uh, with speaking and making the sounds, right? Yes. Uh, uh, you have to practice that, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Why else would there be the need for speech therapists? Right? Yes. Yeah. And there goes a certain, oh, you're you hearing, right? You're hearing, you know, how am I saying this? The loud, again, the, 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 until I had that down. I was like, the, 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 T and H, the, no, it's the, 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 right? The V, the V, and W, yeah? V, V, O, V, V, if I say O first, then I get it. V and V, 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 right? Yes, yes. Are you hearing that? Yeah, okay. I know, now I got into that. Who's here? <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, bring a little diversity into my videos. See, that's, how, that's diversity to me. <laughs> <coughs> as long as 
it's constructive teaching. I don't mind if I'm getting a little help. <laughs> and um, and a little bit guidance also by what? Uh, you think spirits are, don't have personalities or this or that or are not funny or humorous or, okay. On the good side, the good spirit world is never funny or humorous at the expense of someone else. Especially if someone's, you know, or, or, or laughs at someone's pain because it looked funny the way it happened to them. Never, ever. Uh -uh. That's just one example on how that works. I'm like, yeah, uh, no, um, I don't even want to go there. That's right. Where are we here? Oh, yeah. Check out. So, and it's the appendices. Yeshua, Molada, Beth, Pellet, Hazar, Shual, Bersheba. You guys need to stop because I'm going to start laughing. <laughs> Bersheba and its dependencies, Siklok, Mekona and its dependencies, Enriman, Zora, Yarmut, Zanua, Adulam and their villages, Lachish and its lands, and Asik <laughs> and its dependencies. Thus they settled from Bersheba as far as the valley of Hinnom. That reminds me of my brother, my sister, my mother and I praying on the couch. <laughs> And some Benjaminites made their homers homes. <laughs> homes in Geba, Michmash. <laughs> All right, this isn't helping either what I'm writing right now. Uh, reading. <laughs> reading right now. I must be having some children around me right now. Aija, Bethel, and its dependencies. Anatat, Nob, Ananaya, Hazar, Ramah, Gitaim, Hadid, Seboim, Nebalot, Lod, Ono, and the Valley of Craftsmen. Some Levitical groups lived in Judah, some in Benjamin. Levitical groups. I see, they're, they're still not having. They're still don't, oh, okay, they're trying to figure things out, okay? It's been a long time. Again, I wish I was, and I don't think that that was in a part of the beginning here, where, oh, it actually does. Nehemiah presided from 445 until 433. Well, that's not a very long time. That's only about. 12 years or something? No, that's more than that. No. About 12 years. So 12 years and when did this all start? Nine. Oh, the kings are a good one here for that. Let's go see here. Oh, wait, we gotta go all the way back to Moses. Way back, way back. This is what I like about this. Let's go. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I can't hear you screaming through the screen. It was. Give it to you. All right, I'll go and check that out for myself. Let's see if I remember. In any case, there were several generations now that had passed since Moses. Okay, and Israel went through all this kingship stuff, and I don't know what. And uh, <clears throat> and here now, coming back from Babylon, 
they're trying to rebuild all this. And they're trying to do it under the guidance of God. But there's nobody alive anymore that actually can tell them exactly on how that right, all happened before. Oh, did it ever happen before? Aha. Yes, see? So they're trying. They're really trying. And I have to give it to them for that. Okay? They really are. But are they doing it right? Are they actually figuring out everything exactly right? No, they're not. Either there are some things, like with the Levites, where there's not, well, but we already own all this. Why, why do we have to give that up now? Well, because God, that's one of God's laws, that the tribe of the Levites does not own anything. They have no inheritance, and they're being taken care of solely by the people. And why would God do that? Why would God put a whole tribe in charge of the well-being, the spiritual, psychological, mental well-being of the people. Uh, shall we reread the books of the kings and, uh, and the uh, chronicles? Yeah. So. But they're not quite there yet. They're trying, right? They're trying to figure out. Yes, yes. And I think that of Jesus' time, it was exactly the same. Jesus, too, tried to figure out, okay, what do I actually need to do here? Well, he's the Son of God, and he's still. You live on earth, right? You're not living in spirit world, okay? Otherwise, I'm sure that God would have created, our heavenly parent would have created it in a way where you can just walk to spirit world. I want to go visit the spirit world. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> right? Nobody thinks that's funny. I say that a lot these days. <laughs> I don't know. It may be uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's time pretty soon or something. You know, he may be uh, not doing so well and spirit world's kind of signaling me, hey, Arnold Schwarzenegger's coming soon. I don't know. I'm just saying. Sometimes it happens that way. Certain things. I'm going, oh, yeah, that's why. And then it goes away. And not, it doesn't come to my mind all the time. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not saying. Just saying. <laughs> and, uh, and now, uh, and the ones that believe in the second coming, and, uh, and believe it actually already happened with true parents, uh, it's the same thing there. True father made a lot of mistakes. No mistakes. Just things that no one has ever done before. And had to, yeah, no one that's, has ever done before. At least not that I know of. Hi, Ben. Are you going for a run with mommy? Yeah, Abby's not awake yet. Abby's not awake yet? I'll be right up. I'm almost done. Hey, do well with mommy. If you need her to slow down a little because you're getting tight, just say, mommy, can we go a little bit slower? Okay. Don't whine at her. She doesn't like that. Okay. See you soon. Do well. Uh, where was I? Yeah. So, right? I find it interesting when people somehow found to a... Is it a religion or is it a have epiphanies about something? And um, you know, are really enthralled by something that on how that has to be perfect, right? Oh, and if if it's not perfect, then none of it is good. And I think that's really silly. If 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 you're getting into something new, then you have to expect that there are some discrepancies. There are stories floating around, especially when there are millions of people involved in it. Right? And you've got to make sure that you get your own experience in all that. Yes? Yes? And make sure that if your experience is not good, be honest with yourself and say, well, did I contribute in the way that I was supposed to? Or was I just expecting for everyone to be perfect and that perfectionism that I, uh, yes, uh, envisioned, then just has to rain down like the Holy Ghost upon yourself. I'm just saying. When one gets into new things, right? 
Yes. It takes time to figure out, just like with recipes, cooking, baking, the perfect temperature, the perfect this or that. And even then, right, still a mystery every time. Did it come out right now? How about a baby being born, right? growing in a mother's womb? Right? Yes? You never know. You have to literally wait. Yo, know, you know, you can take pictures, this and that, you know, with ultrasound. They have such good ultrasound now. You still, you still have to wait there. You're not getting the whole picture. Right? Then you hope, you still have to hope everything goes well. Every time. Yes, every time. And then the raising of the child starts. Yes. Oh, is that going to be perfect right from the beginning? Yeah, you hope. <laughs> That's the beauty of right? We are all individuals in the eyes of our heavenly parent. We're all individual children. True sons, true daughters. Yes. And we're all a little different. All right. Perfect in our own way. <laughs> I'm just saying. Right. Yes. Mm. So, I'm not expecting perfectionism from the people of Israel. But I do, I do expect after all this time a little constancy. Yes, I also understand that. They're kind of starting again now after, sounds like what, a thousand years, 1500 years, okay, maybe not that much, quite. They're trying to reestablish that covenant with God from the time of Moses. Can't be easy, yes? Yeah. So, let's give each other a little slack there, a little not saying a lot when it comes to learning and uh yes constructive criticism there's nothing wrong with that okay oh is that why we had that little laughing thing going or the, the humor you guys were trying to push through gotcha spirit we're letting you know so, no they're good with what i'm doing they appreciate it because they know my mind my heart to mind they see my heart to mind as well. And they know that I do not wish them any ill will. Gotcha. And to mention, I really like to um, uh, give some guidance, yes, to the Israelites out there now in Israel. That uh, what that irks me the most about this often, and I come across slaves. And uh, okay, how were some people treated by the Israelites? And I think that in order for the Israelites now to start to build a good foundation right, under the true guidance of God would be to make a condition together. All of Israel, a prayer condition. Hmm? And ask for forgiveness from the ones that they have abused. Yes, ever since they became God's people. Just saying. I think that would really help Israel. Yes, maybe. Once and for all start to settle right all that to this day it just doesn't seem to stop it's still in world war ii they were oppressed killed by the millions horrific now they're involved in another war where you know they, with the allies they have most likely could win will win I don't know. Seems like people are holding back a little. I don't really want to do this anymore. Right? 
Yes? Where has anything actually really changed? The Israelites, God's people, are going up and down, up and down still. So, I'm willing to do that with the Israelites. I'm kind of doing it already. Eh? Yes? <clears throat> Call to prayer. Everybody can do that at home. There's no need. Just put a broadcast out. Let's all ask for forgiveness for our ancestors' doings, our doings, and not worry so much about how often we have been the victims, yeah? but how often have we been the perpetrators as well. Yes? Yeah. Hey, you never know. Spirit, welcome, work with that. I don't believe that Israel still, that our heavenly parent truly cares truly cares for Israel. The Heavenly Parent has never abandoned Israel. It's the other way around. Yes? Yeah. Okay. So that's the reason we have the Bible. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I think I said it all. I gotta go upstairs. My little granddaughter's still asleep and they went for a run. So oh, she knows where I'm at. Ah, oh, another wonderful day. I'm hoping to go to my other daughter's with the teeny one, <clears throat> like tiny baby, and go and help her out a little bit and make sure she's walking and this snap, I mean, not the baby, <laughs> and uh, I give make sure that she gets some sleep. Yes, yeah, so we'll see. And finish up in the garden, though. Hey, yeah. I hope it's cool. This is, I hope it stays a little cool over the weekend because then I can really work out better. Okay. Yes, I want to go and check on my garden. And I've got to start that sourdough bread because we have the starter. It needs to be fed again and we need to make some sourdough bread. I think with the boys here, I'm going to do that. I had it twice now working out like this. A third time. All good things come in fours, by the way. Not threes. Okay. <laughs> I don't care. Maybe they come in sevens. Maybe in tens. Right? Yes? Okay. <laughs> Hundreds. Hundreds of thousands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who would love to have a hundred thousand dollars? A hundred thousand one dollar bills. That's a hundred thousand. Okay, I'm kidding. <coughs> I'm still kind of too alive. Like you guys care about money. Yes, I do, to give it away. <laughs> to who needs it? <laughs> oh, dear me. You can't fight over something that you don't have anymore. Yes, okay, that's it. I better go. Uh, may Heavenly Parent bless you and protect you, embrace you with love, and I will talk to you all tomorrow.